Hey guys, Simpsy here. Welcome to my Rome Total War 2 Massilia campaign. This won the vote from you guys, and I'm actually really excited to play this. But first things first, before I get into the campaign, I would just like to apologize um, and say sorry if the faction you chose, um, di or you voted for, didn't get chosen. Um, I do. I'm sorry about it because there was not one, there was not like one resounding yes because um, I'll quickly go through the vote here. It was 19% went out of 100 went to went to uh, Massalia, 14% went to Carthage, 12% went to Macedon, 10% went to Swaby, and 7% went to Egypt. So that's just the top five, but that's mostly probably because I had so many factions on there. Um, but yeah, I, I do apologize if I don't pick the faction, but you the majority wanted to see Massalia, so we are playing oh it's not Massalia, it's um Massilia. Modern day Marseille. As long as you really know what I'm talking about. I always thought it was Massalia, but I think it's Massilia. So we are a Hellenic barbarian hybrid faction, but our culture is Hellenist Hellenistic, which I think is really quite awesome because we can recruit um hoplites. And we can recruit some cool um, barbarian Celtic warriors. And uh, yeah, I, and some mercenaries. So I think this faction is going to be extremely quite interesting. I am playing on the very hard difficulty. I'm not playing on legendary. That is simply because we only start off with one province. And I could just imagine us getting butt, <laughs> um, butt rushed. So I have gone through and done a couple of things now. So at Massalia. Uh, oh my god, Massilia. We are currently constructing, or oh, we're constructing an upgrade for our capital. We also have two hoplites here. Now, we're probably going to be moving on Tolosa. Toulouse? Toulouse. Modern day Toulouse again. <laughs> it's interesting how those names are, are modern now. So, first things first, let's have a look at the diplomacy for the campaign. So, I am playing on very hard, very hard, I'm playing on very hard, there's, there's, you can't change the battling campaign in this. I'm not playing on legendary simply because... This is my, well, I've only done one, I've done an Isenia, Sparta, and a Roman campaign. I did that within the first two months of Rome 2 coming out. Then the last campaign I did was a Pompey campaign, and that was a couple of months ago. So, I'll, probably the next campaign we're doing a Legendary, but we'll go on very hard for this time. So, let's have a look at where we are. So, we currently start off with one province. Now, looking through the diplomacy, oh, okay, Rome's happy with us, which is quite interesting. Now... We are in a very, very interesting position, before we get into diplomacies, because we want to know where to expand. We could either go and take Gaul, and then after that push into the Britannians. We could go down and uh, move across northern Italy, attack the Etruscans. To be honest, I really wanted to rush Rome, because Rome, if they can get a foothold, they, they're obviously one of the best factions in the game, and they're very hard to beat if you give them a foothold. But they're actually the only people semi-happy with me. So, I was thinking of taking... Um, Tolosa. So let's have a look at who are actually there. Who are they? The Volki. So they have no allies, no enemies, and uh, they're not a vassal. So that's probably the first province we're going to move on so we can get the well, that first settlement so we can get the entirety of this province. We haven't got any movement points, and that's because we've got our hoplites being recruited. So we can push to the border just here, and then we can start recruiting some more hoplites. So we've got hoplites. Light hoplites, we've got Levy Freeman, Celtic skirmishes. So, I don't really, I think these Levy Freeman look quite shit, to be honest. But at the moment, I'm not going to disband them simply because we need as many troops as possible. I will be bringing them um, out and then putting some Celtic warriors. I can see, I really love this hybrid because it's going to make some pretty cool and in, uh, interesting uh, builds. So, we're going to move this other general into Massalia. <laughs> Massilia, goddammit. Um,. But yeah, I can see a very, we can have a very big frontline wall of hoplites, hoplites or whatever. I don't know, should I say the Greek word or should I say the, or how I just pronounce it? I'm sure you, as long as, I'm, as long as you know what I'm talking about, it should be okay. We can have like a thick line of hoplites, have the Celtic warriors in the behind, have them hit around the flanks and then hit the enemy from behind. I reckon that would be just an awesome tactic. Okay, so we're moving our spies across. Um, we'll quickly just look at my objectives. Actually, let's go for the faction. So, this is my faction leader, I presume. We currently hold a little bit over the politics. Summary. Um, yeah, okay, that will do. Trade and finance. We can't put up the taxes. 
So we are getting 52 gold from the Etruscans. Okay, technology. Military or civil? See, I think we should go military, simply because we're so small. We want to expand, and once we start expanding and getting more provinces, we can actually go yeah, go with... um. I need to move my mic there for a sec. Um, we can go with civil. So we're going to go with military. Now, let's go into the diplomacy. Now, there's a lot of factions here that I could get trade rights with, but I do want to declare war on some of them. So... I think I might try to get trade rights with the Alvani, see if we can. It's a low, so it's not, not a very chance. Um, okay, maybe, I imagine it's going to be the exact same for most of the other factions, yeah. Because that was the Alvani, that was a 9 plus. Yeah. We do actually have trade rights with the Etruscans. So let's talk to Rome, who are happy with us. So, let's talk to Rome. Okay, would you like trade rights? Really, they don't want to have any trade rights with me. How about a non-aggression pact? Moderate. They rejected. We're going non-aggression pact, trade rights, low. Okay, um, a military alliance. Really? And a non-aggression pact. Rejected. So, the only, yeah, I was actually going to attack Rome, but because of the fact of that, um, yeah, that's quite interesting. How about one of these factions? Yeah, I don't think we're going to get trade rights without putting money into it, and most of my money is going into something else. So I think that's all we can go through. Um, what were my objectives actually? Because that might give us a hint of where to actually expand. So, uh, Principania, Northern Italy, Cosentia, Britannia, Italia, and Africa. Control 80 settlements. Jesus, that is just going to be a lot. <laughs> Either by direct ownership or client states or military allies. Economic. So this campaign is going to go for a while, uh, to say the least. So let's end the term. But yeah, so guys, if you are enjoying this Massilia campaign and want to support it, I always really push my, uh, always plug a lot in the first episode to get this series off and running. Um, a non-aggression pact with the... Hmm, no, because that's probably the next place I'm going to be going expanding. So no, I don't want a non-aggression pact. So make sure to leave a like on this series. Also, make sure to put in the comment section down below where I should expand. Should I push into Gaul? Should I push over to Northern Italy? Should I push into Iberia? Should I completely ditch this part of the world? R run back to Greece? Take on Athens and Sparta and Epirus? Retake? I don't know. The Hellenic? I don't know. <laughs> probably not. That's probably not a very good idea. <laughs> okay, so Rome has declared war on Syracuse, and Syracuse is a faction we've encountered. So... Um, I am going to declare war on Tolosa and the, uh, that faction there. So, because instead of trespassing to get bad um, relationships, so that's probably a good idea. Um, are they, where are they? They're right down the bottom, aren't they? So they're not at war with anyone. I was going to say if I could join their war, get some relations. So, we are going to declare war. And we are going to march straight in there. But before we do... Gonna move my spy. So, what do they got in here? One lot of oath sworn, light horse, and a couple of Celtic youths. We're gonna poison. I don't. I swear they must have more than that. They must have a bigger army than that. Regardless, we are still going to advance. We still have a little bit of money, so we're gonna keep saving up. We're probably gonna save up for a port so we can get some more food because we're not actually making any. Um. I see if we can get some trade rights with Rome. Why are they so happy with me? The day's greetings to you. See if we can offer a non-aggression pact and we'll be able to give them some money just to get on some better terms with the Romans. Accepted. So we have a non-aggression pact with the Romans. Could we go for a... Uh, military access. Oh, maybe I did access before and didn't realize I... Oh, yeah, that's probably why. Defensive allies, no. Okay. Trade rights, no. Okay, well, at least we can get some sort of non-aggression pact with the Romans. Because I was actually planning on actually going into Italy first and getting rid of the Romans. But if they can be our, one of our closest allies, and it might even be cool to let them be a little bit stronger, and then we could take them on. Okay. A peace treaty, a peace treaty. Okay, they give me 1,200. Would you become my client state? No, I think we want to fight them. I think that'll be a good first. 
victory for us. Okay. Wow, where are they gone now? <laughs> I had a feeling they were going there. Now, why has the AI gone and done that? They've left it undefended. So we're going to get march in there and take it now. We're not going to play the garrison force. Because that's just stupid. We'll go with... Uh, we'll just go with a balanced stance. And subjugate. We're going to occupy because we want to get the entirety of the province. So we've taken our first settlement. I really wish we could have taken it a lot... Uh, I don't know. We could have had a good battle for the start of this first episode. We're going to go with authority. But yeah, I don't know why they've gone and done that. Huh. We'll go poison them. Failed. Brilliant. Okay, so we definitely want to go start converting. Uh, the, so what has it got? It's, it hasn't got that much... Oh, it does have a lot of Helen. Oh, wow. Hellenic, it does. I thought it wouldn't. That's surprising. So, we can probably just go with some more... Should we go with building more military buildings or cultural or sort of... Hoplites. A mine. I think we might build a mine just to get our economy up. Actually, no, we need food, don't we? So, we'll definitely go with a, a homestead instead of a mine first. We're going to save up so we can get some better. So what can we get here? Citizen Cavalry hot, um, unlock. Citizen Cavalry. Peltast. Okay. If they march out and attack us, we'll probably will go for them. So, who are these guys here? Now, this is actually a, a quite big settlement. Um, okay, so we're running out of technologies now. So, should we go with management... Tactics or Siege. Skirmish Camp. We get some Royal Barracks, couldn't we? So we'll go with uh, Management. Okay. We're doing well so far. Maybe that we've expanded now. We can actually get some trade rights with the Romans. Rejected. How about a little bit of money? We can only give you 400 for trade rights. Rejected. Now, do we continue to expand? In what direction? So, okay, these guys are military allies with the Cassentii and the Canterbury. But they're at war with the Avani. Greetings, the Avani are defensive allies there. But they're at war with a lot of people. Yeah, that could, if we attack them, that could really cause a massive war. So maybe we're better off now that we have this in the entirety of this province. We can install an edict. So what actually edicts do we have? Plus four public order. Uh, wealth. Minus two to building construction. Plus five to harvest. Food and public order. Wealth. Minus building construction 15. Yeah, I think we should go with that. Minus 15 building cost construction and 15 recruitment costs. Because that's what we're going to be majorly doing. We don't really need public order. Oh, I guess we kind of do need public order that much, don't we? It would help a lot. But then also, we'll see how we go. I think that's what we want to do. Uh, what's this plus? Yeah, we don't really have that much of a big slave population just yet. So, when the turn, we'll march out and get rid of these rebels. And that can be our first battle for the campaign, I hope. But I think we're going to push upon uh, Genoa. Okay, so they've actually come out and attacked me, uh, which is good. So let's fight this one on the battle map, guys. So, guys, remember to make sure to leave a like to get this Massilia campaign up and running. I'd really much appreciate it. I'll be uploading this every single day for you guys. Uh, but if you're not interested... Well, I guess you wouldn't be watching it this far if you're not interested. I am also doing a High Elves campaign and a Spanish campaign. Uh, a medieval... It, the, the High Elves campaign is on the Moz submod for Third Age Total War. And the Spanish campaign is on the uh, vanilla version of Medieval Total War. So, yeah. Um, follow me on Twitter as well, at, at Simpsy, to keep up to date. If you follow me on Twitter, uh, I have connected it to my YouTube 
and every time I upload a video, a tweet gets put out, so that's really, really good if you like to stay in touch, because sometimes YouTube sub box doesn't work, and can be a little bit funny sometimes, not always, but looking at this enemy, it's just a little bit all over the place, we've got to watch out for these O-Swarm, but I think my four lots of pop lights will be able to deal with them, one lot of Celtic Warriors, they do have two, they have a lot of mercenaries, two mercenary cavalry, and one normal, so, yeah. It's good to be playing Rome 2 again. I've actually, I'm actually enjoying Rome 2 for once. Now, I actually really do like the current stage that Rome 2 is in. So, Celtics. Okay, so I just want to quickly see what are the natural sort of defenses, defenses of this city. So, this is where the town square is. So... I'm just trying to think, I'm just trying to see where we can actually defend it. So we can put a gap here, they can't get through here, and there. We're going to have to put a big line here. So we're going to put one lot of hoplites just in this gap here. Can I use hoplite wall? Yeah, oh my god. That, that should look awesome. There's no way they're going to break through there. We're going to put another one here. On a hoplite wall as well. Maybe I should put this a little bit more straighter. Okay, that should be good. If you are curious to see what... Well, if you're curious to know what mods I'm using. I'm actually not using any mods except for the... Uh, I really didn't pick it in order. Who have I haven't used? Okay, these two guys. I'm only using the Rome 1 music pack, which I think is absolutely awesome. Because I did ask you guys for mod suggestions, but I didn't really get that many, so I wasn't really too sure if you guys wanted to see mods or or not. Now, who are these guys? Oh, I guess these are the garrison, but I recently took the settlement, so I wouldn't imagine that they're going to be that much of a use. My cavalry's still being retrained, but we've got slingers here, so we'll put two lots of slingers here. Now, we'll put the other two on this side as well. Can these guys go under spear wall? No. Okay, I think that's good. They can't get through here. I'm not being foolishly blinded here. But it's really cool how these guys are um, Greek. They have like a Hellenistic heritage, you might say. So you can see centaurs and, and whatnot. I think they're going to be pushing their main offense over over onto here. I do have the blood and gore texture pack, so you guys will be seeing that in action. But what are they moving up first? Looks like they're mercenary light horse. But this should be a, f a decent first battle. I really do like this. I really do like the. Uh, the faction you guys chose, it's, it's quite interesting. It's going to be a decent campaign to say the least. I would i would imagine this campaign is going to go for a while, probably 30 or so episodes, um, to actually finish it, or get to a point in time where I'm happy. So, we're going to be doing this for basically the next month, so I don't really mind about that. But it really does depend on how much time I have for any other campaigns. I upload um, one campaign video a day, without a doubt, because... I wouldn't say I'm a, a full-time YouTuber, I'm not a part-time, I'm kind of in between. I have, a, I have a lot more spare time than a part-time job, so I do try to put out as much content as I can. Okay, so are my slingers actually getting their shots off? They should be. So it looks like they're moving their Celtic Warriors, so I really actually want to put a very... Um, if I can... Where were these guys? I'm going to push these guys further up here. So I want to put a very big offensive. Hold the line! Okay, and these guys are going to hold the line. So I am going to move my Levy Freeman up. Even though they're not that great, they should be able to hold and help over here. And we'll leave my other hoplites, my two best hoplites, to actually just hold the rear for me. Now, I do need to make sure my slingers aren't doing too much friendly fire, so I want you to hit their other ones here. Wow. It'll be interesting to see how much damage they took. I'll try to do as much close-ups as possible, because that's what I really love about Rome 2, these cinematic sort of modes. 
Oh, that's... <laughs> I think I could have speared through his head and did like some weird sort of flip. Well, they actually are pushing cavalry into me, so I think that is a really, that's a really big no-no. Um, okay, so they're also trying to push cavalry on this side. So we're definitely going to break out, well, they're not even in formation, so we're definitely going to charge here. Hoplites into cavalry is a big mistake, and we're going to take advantage of it, see if we can get these guys to rout. We'll get these to surround them. Okay, so it looks like we should break our formation and push because they're not pushing us here. So we're going to go with a flanking maneuver. I'm going to get my slingers to continue to... They should be hitting their skirmishers. We'll get my hoplites to push around and we'll go with a, go with a counter charge. So we'll continue to push. We'll get this unit to hit straight in there. We'll just continue to push further around a little bit more. Okay, just while we're doing that, how are we doing over here? Okay, we surrounded their cavalry. So we should try to take as many of them down as possible. We do have our own general unit. We don't we don't have any other cavalry, so I probably should move my general to use some inspire. Might help. So we've actually broken that unit. So what's this here? Youths. Okay, my hoplites will be able to deal with them, so. We're going to quickly reform up another wall here. Double time it. And they're routing now. So my slingers should be continuing to hit their slingers. And are, they, oh, are these guys routing? Not quite. These guys are in formation just in case the youths give us a little bit of trouble. Let's go in some close camera shots. I'll try to do as much as I can, but obviously you need to see a tactical battle view. I really can't wait to play this campaign. It's, it's going to be fascinating to see. Okay, so these U's are coming across. I might even send one lot of slingers back here. Just to help them a little bit. But they are really just fighting to the death here. I might even just get these... These slingers are getting a fair few casualties in. So we're going to send one unit in here. We're going to pull... We're going to halt for a sec... And we will, uh, not even that far it will, okay. I was actually going to let them charge me, but we're going to charge them. Okay, how are we going here? Okay, I'm going to get my cavalry in there now. Now that we've taken the majority of theirs out. There are a couple of Oath Swarms still holding on, so I might go around the other way there. Um, my Hoplites are really just chasing these guys down, as if they haven't routed yet. you got to give it to them, they were trying to take back their home. But these Oath Swarms, like I said, are really just holding on. Let's see if we can get another unit here. What did I do with my cavalry unit? Oh, it's been pushed out further here. Try to take on their skirmishes. See if we can get this charge going in now. Oh. Okay, or well, they could be there. I meant this charge happening. There's no point of having those skirmishes now. They are just running away, which I don't understand why. Okay, where's my general unit? Oh, it's coming back in here now. Oh, shit. Why are these guys routing? It's because of these bloody oath swarm. It's because I moved my general away. How are they still here? Okay, I'm going to get my general in here. So I actually get some charges in. Because that would help. This is a bloody fight just here. Their oath swarm is really, really good. What are these skirmishes? Charge them then. 108 before the charge. Double out. Wow, look at that. Just from that one charge. We're also about to get a hoplite charge in here. We'll reform. I want to get this charge in. For the Hellenic Republic! Well, I guess it's not really a republic, is it?
go with an inspire and we'll go with a charge skirmishes what's here we got some levy freeman I'm gonna move my general further across. Oh, okay. The enemy general is dead. I was like, oh, my enemy, my general is dead. I was like, oh shit. Okay, let's start speeding this up now. But a good first battle, uh, to say the least. Get rid of those skirmishes. End the battle. A close victory, eh? Are you serious? <laughs> That's not too bad. We deployed 1,687. We lost 481. We killed 772. But they did deploy 920. And this is my first time playing with this faction. We probably lost a lot more hoplites than what we should have. But we are using spearmen as well. <laughs> we're not using swordsmen. We're using hoplites. But once we get some of these Celtic warriors in, it should help us quite a bit. But we've got rid of the faction at Tolosa. I'm probably going to move on Genoa next, but I'm still really... I don't know. I honestly don't know where to move. Should we move north into Gaul, try to get the entirety of Gaul? Should we go down to Iberia? Or should... Well, we're going to probably have to take all of it, but where should we go first? Where we have an easier time? I think we should push and take the settlements in northern Italy, get rid of the Etruscans. Um, Rome, like I said, I was actually going to plan to go on Rome, but they are one of my closest friends at the moment they're really really happy with me so if we can get some sort of alliance or military alliance with rome how fantastic would that be uh, um but yeah we can obviously betray them later but a good first battle i feel with massilia should be good we're just waiting for the loading times here because <laughs> my computer is uh well i'm running out of memory at the moment because i'm just recording so much at the moment But yeah, yeah, I, I'm still really, really sorry, guys, if this isn't the faction that you wanted, because it obviously was it was a really, really close faction vote. Um, but at least you guys picked something that I'm actually really interested in and uh, curious about. But this Massilia campaign will be extremely interesting. So there goes the enemy army, just absolutely battering it down. <laughs> A close victory. So we're going to oh, enslave. We're going to enslave, actually. It'll get us a little bit more money. Faction destroyed. Yay. An edict issued as well. So, on that note, we are going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching if you've watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like to support this series and my channel. Make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with this series. And also follow me on Twitter and at Simpsy. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And this has been Simpsy and Matt Lays, my friends. Goodbye. Thank you very much.